This is a serial based ELS receiver and today I will show you how to solder it onto your flight controller and I will also go through the steps as of how to set it up so it can be ready for binding to a ELS radio. Let's go. Okay, so before we begin, let's look at the receiver itself and the soldering pads we'll be using. So the G basically indicates ground and you connect the G to the G on your flight controller. And the V basically means 5 volts and also same. You connect the V to the 5 volts on your flight controller. And the T is basically telemetry and R is receive, right? So the only thing that is a little bit tricky is when you are doing like these radio receivers, the telemetry goes to the R, the receive on your flight controller, and the R goes to the T on your flight controller. Okay, so let's look at the flight controller itself. I think this is a perfect one. So we will use this uh, series to do it. So you see, this is a ground, this is your five volts, and this is a T1, and this is a R1. Okay, so basically the T1, R1, basically when you go into beta flight later, it's gonna mean that this is gonna be your UR1. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and let's prepare this to be soldered. Okay, so we're gonna start by prepping our receiver, and our flight controller, and our cables to be ready to solder. We're gonna add a small layer of solder onto these pads so it can be ready. Okay, let's start with the receiver. Okay. So you're gonna take up your solder gun, your iron actually. So we are going to clean it, clean the tip. And we're gonna wet the solder a bit. We'll wet the iron, I meant. And next, we are going to start by putting some solder into the solder holes. It's not too much. It's okay. I'm going to fix it. Up. Okay. Next, let's prep our flight controller. We're going to add some flux so the solder can better go up there. And clean the tip. Same, wet the tip a little bit. Are going to just come here and start adding solder. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna test it with a multimeter to make sure that we are not having any bridges. So basically how the multimeters work is if you turn it to this place and if the tips touch together, it should make a sound. So which means you're having a short. Okay, let's test it. Let's test the solder balls. Let me see if it can get bigger. Okay, let's see if it doesn't beep, then generally we are fine. Okay, so we're okay. All right. Okay, next step, let's prep our wires. little bit oops these two are too close pull them apart let's begin the soldering okay so we're going to start soldering the cables so the red one goes to v and the black one goes to ground Start with the black one. Okay, we're just going to gentle press it so it creates a bondage. Let's see, All right? The red one. 
it's our fold, it's our hot. I'm going to use the white one to go to our T. And the yellow one goes to our R. Okay, so later we just have to remember that we will have to, whoops have to remember that we are going to have to reverse these two on the FC okay so let's go to solder this onto our flight controller we're gonna start with the black one we're gonna hold it gently press it okay. bondage okay. now the red one fires a little bit bend it. The red one goes to the fight vote. Okay. Let's double check. So we are using the yellow one as R. So, so the yellow one will have to go to the T over here. The white one goes to the R. White one is our T on the receiver, so at the FC, this has to go to R. Let's double check. Yellow one is R, white one is T. Here it has to be reversed R to T, T to R. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna plug it into the antenna before we powered it up. Okay, all right, one more step, same drill. Let's test to see if there are any shorts, just in case. You cannot be too careful. Okay, it doesn't seem that it's making any contact. Okay, looks good. Okay, let's power it up to see if it powers up. Okay, so you see that we have successfully connected our receiver with power and telemetry. Okay, so next step, we're going to flash this and we're going to set it up so it's ready to be bounded. Let's go. Okay, so the easiest way to flash our EOS receiver is via Wi-Fi. And we are just going to do it by putting in the receiver into Wi-Fi mode. And to do it, you just have to plug in your light pole. And until about 20 to 30 seconds, you can now see that this is blinking like slow, right? When it goes to really fast, blinking like really fast, that means it's going to be Wi-Fi ready. So we're just going to have to wait for it and we'll see. Right now it's flashing steadily very, very fast. So this is an indication that it's Wi-Fi ready. Let's go to our computer. Okay, so once your Wi-Fi is enabled, we're going to come to our computer and you're just going to click, click Wi-Fi you're going to see this express RX, RX popping out and you're just going to come and hit click connect and if you're asked for any password it's going to be express LRS all lowercase and once it's connect a separate web page should pop out and that's your uh, basically that's going to be your flasher so right now we're just going to, to wait until it comes out and later on we are going to check to see like which target we are going to build since we have to build the firmware so you can see night right now we're gonna to, we're just gonna remember this. So this receiver's name is called Beta FPV two four zero zero RX. So this is going to be our, our our flashing target. Okay, so let's disconnect it, and we're going to go to the Express OS configurator to build a firmware to flash it. Once we open the Express OS configurator page, this is what it's going to look like. The first tab is for you to pick which firmware you want. So the release, I'm just going to pick the. 3.201 because I know it's going to work with my controller and I just don't typically like to try the newest newest one so I just like to wait until wait until it's proven that it's okay okay so we're just going to pick the 3.20 version 
and the target, remember that we just saw that the beta FPV1 was called beta FPV2 2400, right? So it's going to be the 24 GHz one. And the device, we're going to pick the beta FPV. Let me see where it is. Ah, this is the one we want. So beta FPV Nano 200 for doubt, 2400 RX. And we're going to select the Wi-Fi option as this is the one we wanted to go flashing. Okay, so the binding phrase, this is, I like to use 654321, you can set up where you like as long as it matches your RTX. Okay, once you're done, we're just going to leave everything as it's, and we're just going to hit build. So this, essentially, this is going to build a firmware for us to flash later on the web page. All right, so we have now seen that this has complete the flash. So we just have to remember the one with the name is the one we wanted to use. Okay, so let's save it to somewhere that we can find. So typically, I just look, like to put it at desktop. So when you when you just go, it's very direct. Okay, so let's see. What's the name? Beta. FPV RX. Okay, we're just gonna save it on the desktop so we can just find it right away. Okay, so same drill. We're gonna plug in our drone for it to enter Wi-Fi mode. Same thing. Wait for 30 seconds and it should go into Wi-Fi mode. Let's switch back to the computer. Okay, we're just gonna go to our Wi-Fi on our computer. You, oh, you're just gonna connect to the Express LRS again. And the separate web page is going to pop out and we are going to, okay, so it's good right now. Okay, we're going to update the firmware. You're going to choose the file and we're just going to go to the one that we just built. So actually it's going to be the ones called beta at PVRX and you're going to pick this one. You're going to open it and you're just going to hit update and it's going to take a while. And once you see this, it's successful. So your your receiver is now on 3.x. So it should bind with my 3.x TX. Okay, so we can close this and we can try to bind it with a radio. Okay, so I went a little bit ahead of myself. Before we can actually bind anything, we are going to have to connect this draw quad to beta flight. And we are gonna enable this receiver. Otherwise, nothing's gonna work. Okay, so once the USB has been plugged in, let's switch to our beta flight on the computer. Okay, so once you have connected beta flight, we're just going to hit connect. And you're going to come into the ports tab. Since we're using UR1, we're just going to make sure that the serial RX and UR1 is enabled. And once it's enabled, you're going to hit save and reboot. And we're going to reconnect. And we're then going to go to the receiver tab. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that the receiver section that we're gonna choose receiver via UART and you're gonna choose Crossfire. Yes, Crossfire for ELRS. And once you're done, you're gonna save and reboot as well. Next step, we will finally be binding the radio and the receiver using the binding phrase method. The wonderful thing about ELRS binding phrase is as long as you set up the correct binding phrase for your TX and your RX, once you power up, both of them they should automatically bind without you hitting any binding button so once our once we power up our radio right now it should work let's go give it a try okay so we're going to power up our radio and we are going to go back to our computer and connect to beta flight to sick to see if we're getting any stick inputs so we're just going to hit connect and we are going to go to the receiver tab. And once we move our throttle, you can see that, hey, everything should be moving. So this should be correct. So raw is this one, pitch and yaw. Okay, seems they are set up correctly. Next, let's just go to the modes tab. So modes, since like we are using, okay, let's see. We're gonna use aux one which is my arm switch which is this one and this should be the one that is going to arm the quad let me see if it's going to power up okay so it's going here so we have to 
adjust the perimeters to this location. Okay, so right now it's going to arm. And we're also going to set up our angle mode. So angle mode, basically what I'm using is my disc switch. So this is aux 2. So we are just going to come here and go to aux 2. And then I want it to be at the bottom. So it's going to be at the bottom. And I'll set up our horizon mode. I never use horizon mode, but yeah, why not? We're just going to set it up. It's also going to be aux 2. So perfect. Middle is fine. And this is going to be your air mode. Okay, so once we're done, we're just going to hit save. All right, so our quad is now set up and our Express LS firmware, Express LS receiver, and our TX has been bound. So perfect. Okay, so we're just going to give it with a simple test. We're just going to do plug it in. Our bad light pole again, power it up. All right, so you hear telemetry recovery, which means that it has been bounded. So we're just going to hit the arm switch to see if the motor spins. All right, so you have bound these. Okay, so I guess this wraps us up this video. And if you have additional questions, please feel free to comment at the comment section. Or if you have anything, you can just email me if you want. And if you like my content, please help me subscribe. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.